for now. Hey, partner. That, that your horse hit out there? <laughs> oh, boy. I've been getting to know your horse for about the last 18 months now. Yeah. His name's Jim. I work down at the collision center for horses. <laughs> Yeah, I know that horse probably better than my own. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I just got to ask you. What is going through your mind? Uh, now look, I ain't looking for no trouble. I ain't looking for no trouble, but I'm... I gotta know. You, alone have kept me in business for probably the better part of two years now. Hell, I've told my wife, maybe we should just pack up all our stuff and move into your camp. You know, that way I ain't got to travel to work and hell, God knows you ain't going far. <laughs> all right, all right, boy. Calm down. Calm down. I just need to let you know I see your name all over my ledger. Every day, boy. <laughs> so here's what I want to know. Bartender, bring him a whiskey. Here's what I got to know. What do you think? It's going through that poor horse's mind every time you saddle up. I imagine, oh, here we go again. Gonna ram me into a tree. <laughs> gonna ride me right into a rock. Oh, can't wait. Maybe he's gonna try to ramp me over that river off that cliff again. <laughs> Boy, I tell you what. Okay, okay. Okay. Now calm down. I do need to say something to you, boy. I'm worried about you, and I'm worried about other people. Now, okay, bartender, whiskey. Now calm down. I can tell. You don't want me talking to you no more, but I got to say what I need to say. So, maybe I'll just sing it. Let me just grab my glasses, my guitar. Here's what you need to know, boy. Now listen close. try to do something to uh, make sure that everybody got here. 
Check it out. People have wanted to see my lid. There it is. Look at that. See, I had kind of a part going. Trying to look professional. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, my name is Rob Weedoff, and I provided performance capture for John Marston in the Red Dead Redemption series. And I am here on behalf of the gamers. We're all here for the gamers. And I want to say, I am so sorry. I have been calling it the Game Hers for the entire time I've been talking about it. And I just realized an hour ago, probably, that it's actually pronounced Gamers. It's just spelled Game Hers. So I'm very sorry. I apologize. But um, now you know. So if you ever go telling anybody about it, at least you know how to pronounce it. And so what I want to read to you is uh, what The Gamers is about. The Gamers is a virtual and in-person community that connects all women gamers as well as those who identify as female, non-binary, and their allies. They aim to be space for casual players, the hardcore gamers, the techies, the streamers, the designers, the cosplayers, the developers, and the programmers alike. To advice to I'm sorry to advance the role, voice, image, and power of all gamers in the gaming world. So uh, that's what's going on here, and I think that you know we can all probably benefit from this, all of us, because uh, you know when when people get together and they communicate, they learn and they get better, and uh, better is better, and so I hope that. Everyone tries to uh, participate, whether you feel like you need help, help or not, uh, maybe you'll be the person helping someone else. So, that's what we have. All right, now, I've been ridiculous with my uh, opening thing, and again, I'm, I'm sorry. I should have probably not done that. <laughs> <laughs> but whatever, we're here, we're hanging out, we're partying, um, and I've got, like I said, some surprise guests and uh let's see what time is it right now 808 i'm already behind all right i blew it i'm already behind so what i need is for my first guest to please let me know you're out there if that's possible okay so while we're waiting um I want you to know too that the reason that i'm here hosting today for the gamers is uh gamers um, I did an interview with Kylie Vernoff, who uh, played, let's see, that's not what I want, who played Susan Grimshaw in Red Dead Redemption 2, and uh, maybe I caught that, and she is working with the gamers, doing podcasts called the uh, Let's Play podcast, and so today... The interview that she did with me aired, and it's and you can listen to it right now if you want. Um, it's it's live, and so uh, so am I, and I can't find what I'm looking for, which is really awesome. Uh, but let's see, can we get uh, can we get this thing? Hi, Gilly girl. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing well. I'm looking forward to seeing you again sometime soon, I hope. All right. Where are we at here? Let's see here. All right. Let me tap on this, see what happens. Here we go. All right. So here's what's going on. I blew it, but I'm figuring this out, and I'm sorry. I'm going to figure this out as I go. Um, so now we're waiting, but I've got a great surprise, and there it is. <laughs> That's so goddamn exciting. I am so excited to. I, uh, I'm so sorry that I was late. I mean, the very first thing that I could have made a mistake on, I did. And I apologize. Uh, so that, that song and that monologue, that whole show, I was like watching it from Scott's phone so that I would be able to like start from my phone just in time to join you. And we were <laughs> dead. Dead. <laughs> I think I might have died too, actually, a couple times. really good. 
<laughs> Jeez, thank you. Well, hopefully it gave everybody an opportunity to uh, sit down and get comfortable because we got a fun time ahead of us. I can't um, wait. I can't either. But I, so I got a question for you, and um, I, I want to thank you again. I was just explaining that the reason I'm here is because I did an interview with you, yep. the Let's Let's uh, Play podcast, and I. I really enjoyed that, first of all. But I, I have to know, uh, because I knew you first as an actress, Actress was, was being a host for a podcast something that you've always wanted to do? Or Oh, my God, no. No. <laughs> I never thought I wanted to do anything like that. But when the team from the Gamers approached me, I said yes so fast. Like, I just, I said, yes, I'm going to do that, and it's the best idea you've ever had. I <laughs> That's so great. Well, you're really, really good at it. Have you? I don't know if people have told you today, but I've been getting so much response from our interview. People saying that, like, while they're stuck home and everybody's scared, that it has just brought so much joy into their day. And I don't know if you know this about yourself, but your joy is so infectious. You make people feel better about themselves and the world, and you let them laugh at themselves. And uh, I, I just, I feel so lucky to be able to share some of you with the world today. It really me. Well, Kylie, thank you so much. That's so, so kind for you to say. I, I, thank you. I'm, I'm so, uh, it's kind of overwhelming to hear all that, but I really appreciate it. And I hope that, um, you know, and I, I, I want to be that. I want to be that. And of course, yeah. nobody can do, do that, but I try. And, you know, I guess... People see me on Instagram, and they don't see me when I'm just hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you? Are you in the chicken coop that we talked about? Yes, I am. I am in the chicken coop, and it's 150 degrees in here. I'm going to have to stand up and open a window or something here in a minute. But, um, yeah, I'm in the coop. We're hanging it's out in the chicken degrees coop. It's 150 degrees in here, too. I made a goddamn apple streusel from scratch just now, and my apartment, it smells so good but it's so hot in here. Wait, <laughs> wait, can you see my blanket? Wait, can you see my blanket? Check it out. Yeah. I love it. Susan I Grimshaw. So it. here's one of the things that we talked about in, in the podcast that we did was that somebody said that they recognized you as Susan Grimshaw walking down the street. There's no way that that is possible. <laughs> And I'm telling you, and now everybody knows for sure that it's true because everybody's looking at your face right now. And you are a beautiful woman. And Susan, no well, scar. You, you <laughs> no scar. I really so, am convinced that it was Peter Blumquist trying to pull a trick on me. Having someone come up and be like, I recognize you. You're Susan Grimshaw. Oh, goodness. Well, if it was any of us, it would have been Peter for sure. That's his humor, I guess, isn't it? Oh, All right. Kylie. Oh, oh, wait. Someone's saying hello. Ah, Pokey says hi. Hey, Pokey. Is it Pokey? Pokey. <laughs> hi, Pokey. Be good, Pokey. <laughs> <laughs> so cool. All but right, hey. David. You have, you have other guests coming up, right? I do. Yes, I do. And uh, I don't know what time it is. I'm still behind, maybe. I don't know. But that's my fault. So um, I'll, I'll keep on trucking here. Thank you. Oh look, so much, I don't know Kylie. if you can. Oh look, someone's saying Miss Grimshaw is a beautiful woman. That's right. You're right. And uh, people are in love with Pokey. They're all waving a Pokey. Can you <laughs> see these little? Oh, hi Rob. Hi Kate. Oh, they're all being so sweet. Yeah, all this right. is so much fun. This, this is, is so much fun already. So much fun. Oh, now so, my uh, husband's saying Grimshaw's so hot. That's my husband. I love it. I love it. All right. Well, I think you got uh, you got other people that are wanting to come say hey. Yeah, I do. I just need them to chime in and let me know they're there. I guess is the thing. So we'll we'll get that rolling here. Ah. And uh, in the meantime, <laughs> in the meantime, though, um, so your dog is named Pokey. Yeah. Did you name what? that dog? No, he came with the name. But you want to hear what is so messed up? He's been attacked twice now in the last couple of months he's this like gentle little dude and he got jumped in january 
by another dog who like ripped his ear in like two places. He had two rows of stitches. It was very uh, hard. And, I'm so uh, sorry to hear that. I know. And now he's such like a, he's such a trooper. He's, he's amazing. And uh, he's such a good healer. And then like a week ago, I'm walking with him again. And another dog gets him by the back of the neck and puts like a, like a half inch gash in the back of his neck. Uh, I know. So we had to do like the quarantine vet. Oh, yeah. Now that you're... gone. Um, so yeah, our fans are feeling really, really. Oh, yeah, Marston battle scars. That's what they're saying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't wish those on anyone. There's no doubt about that. Mm -hmm. What I do wish is let's see what time we got here we're gonna just keep on trucking we're gonna keep on doing this um for as long as we can really we've got people coming on one after another we're gonna be hanging out getting to know each other and uh i think that we're just waiting for the next person to chime in and say hey i'm here pick me up i don't know I, how that works i wonder who it could be who i don't know i do know i but i here's what i don't know and What's this is something that um, I'm, I'm not sure about. But do I need to do I need to disconnect with you in order to receive a request from? I don't know. Should we, try? Should we try it? I don't want I don't want to, but I think that maybe we should. All right, let me try it. I'm responding. Someone says they want us at Tampa Tampa SuperCon. Uh, Let's go. We'd love it. All right. Uh, I am going to disconnect because I think someone is, says he's trying to uh, trying to get you. So get back to work. Oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Kyla, thank you so much. All right. Mwah. I love you. I love you. Love you too. Be careful. Okay. Bye. Bye. All right. So uh, let's see here. Let's see here. What do we got here? What we've got here is kind of a surprise if this works here. I'll tell you what. No. No. Sorry, I'm doing this. Every time I try to push the button, it moves on me and it jumps to the wrong thing. <laughs> All right, so there's a guy, and I'm only going to say this one more time until uh, I'm going to look ridiculous over and over again for saying it. But where are you, man? Let's do this. Let's make this happen. Give me a request. I will let you in. And if you're not the guy that knows it's supposed to be the guy, knock it off because I'm not answering you anyway. So I think I just saw. Uh, hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> and so all right i'm gonna have to sing another song i guess by the way did anybody notice that i uh, got out my guitar and i didn't play it i want to tell you why i really don't know how to play it i don't i don't know how to play the guitar i hold it because i think it looks cool <laughs> i don't really know how to play uh so there you have it all right so let's do this, those of us who know what's going on. Uh, let's go to 815. Where are you at? Where are you at? Let's try that. Can we do that? I don't want to keep people waiting. In the... Let's see what we got there. Hey, uh, if you're not someone I know, I'm, I'm probably not going to answer your request to go live right now. I'm just not going to do it. That's not what this is about. But I appreciate it. Maybe another time. Right now, we're trying to be groundbreaking and awesome. And uh, what you know what? I don't think we're doing it. But daggone, we're trying. So, other things to think about. Um, it was hot here today. I got a sunburn. I'm, I'm so fair-skinned. It was. I say it was hot. It was 78 degrees. Actually, it was pretty hot. Uh, but I was in the outside hanging out, watching the grass grow, basically, in the yard. And uh, 
I got a sunburn. I was outside for 15, 20 minutes. Uh, that's the way it goes out here in the Wild West. All right. So what I'm not seeing is what I need to see. And I'm getting a bunch of text messages from the people that I need to talk to on here. But I don't know. Uh, that's not it. There we go. Let's do this. Let's do this. All right. We're getting back into this because I'm, I'm starting to see things that I need to see. And right now, we are about to see a very million. What's going on? It's me. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Thank you so much. You've saved me so many times here in the last 24 hours. It's okay. It's okay. We got it. We got it. We got it figured out. <laughs> I love it. I love it. It's funny that the thread. We're that getting it figured out. As we speak, we're still figuring it out. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I guess, you know what? This is a trial run, maybe, I guess. Next time, if we do it again, it'll be way better. Yeah, but I can say this. Whoever's sending these texts with me on them, please take me off, because that's <laughs> very distracting. <laughs> but otherwise, everything's going really well. Everything's going really well. Man. Yeah. How are you? I'm good. I feel better. I got like all, you know, beautified because haven't been doing anything for the past two weeks. Well, you look great. You really Thank look you. great. Thank you. Thank y'all. You're so <laughs> welcome. My goodness. How have all you right, been? So I've been well. Um, you know, there's some, some wild stuff going on, I guess, for everyone. Um, but, mm -hmm. you know, uh, hanging in, keeping on, keeping on. I guess. Yeah, right? definitely. Best we definitely. can. Yep, exactly. It's really, really good that we all have something like this to, uh, to kind of lean on each other and hang yeah, out. This is nice. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, so I have a question for you, and I want to keep this rolling okay. because I really want to try and do better at what I'm doing so far. Okay. okay. So here's what I'm going to do I'm going to ask you the question. Okay. Um, let's see. How was being a part of the Red Dead Redemption 2 video game community? been for you oh wow Black, um, I guess it's been like one of the most amazing experiences because I was never a video game person ever um I never understood how to and I still don't know how to work the controller but that's another story for another day um but it's been overwhelmingly beautiful and humbling and just satisfactory um, you always want that to come from a job that you do and you put so much work into it and so much grit and grind and, and love into it. And it's really shown that this community is very appreciative of that. And so as an artist, it's just, it feels really good. I'm really happy to be a part of the RDR, RDR2 community. <laughs> <laughs> I am too. I mean, yeah. my goodness. That whole experience was so great. And, and now, like you say, everyone that is supporting it is, is mm -hmm. really yeah, everyone, everyone, everyone. Yeah, it should be nice. It's just a, it's, it's like one inspiring thing after another. You mm -hmm. know, you work with these incredible people and incredible actors too, right? Not just the yeah. people, but all, everybody was. It, it was fun and yeah, funny. Yeah, it was. And yeah, and, and now safe yeah. to be an artist and not really know what you're doing or what it's going to actually be like, but to know that we're all kind of in the same boat. So we're very like gracious to each other in that way too. And even post game, we're still very much so like friendly and gracious. And I think that's great. Yeah. I, yeah. I really do too. I really yeah. do. I, <laughs> it's so good to see you. You know, it's been, it doesn't feel like it's been as long as it has, but it's been probably almost two years. Mm -hmm. I mean, has it been that long? Has it been longer? I, I, it's hard for me to really know. I think um, almost. Is, yeah, it might have been. <laughs> I love the bandana. <laughs> what? What? What's funny? <laughs> that bandana is amazing. <laughs> Look at that. Check it out. Don't you want to hang out with me again? Yes, yes. You have the best stories. The I best. This. I remember this the, the first thing. story, I think. The first story you ever told me was how you guys had like twenty chickens. Yeah, well, and, and like all these house, eggs, right and you couldn't keep up with the eggs. <laughs> that was we the had, funniest story. We had so many that chickens. Was really funny. Oh my goodness! 
Yeah, we, we had, I think, 13 chickens. And a chicken lays an egg every day. So you think it's great. Yeah, we, we're going to have <laughs> lots of eggs. Well, after a while, you think, oh, my goodness, this is horrible. We don't know what to do with them. Nobody wanted them anymore. We had everybody <laughs> stocked up for days and days. Awful. <laughs> well, Mia, my goodness. Oh, thank you. This has been so, I'm so happy I got to see you today. This is so good. It's been fun. It's been fun all day. And I'm yeah, glad this is yeah. going as smooth as it is, I guess. But it's 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 fun. It's better. still going rather smooth. I will say that. It's going all right, very smooth. Well, yeah. All right. Okay, well, I think you got somebody else coming on. I don't know who. All right. Well, thank you so much, You're welcome, Leah. Rob. Bye. Bye. Okay, so next we've got, let me see here. Got to scroll through all this stuff and see if people are trying to chime in and I'm not seeing it. I got to really focus in. I got to get locked in on it. Um, so how's everybody doing? <laughs> This is wild. We're having a great time, and I hope that you are as well. Let's see here. We got. Let's see now. Let's do this. I don't know if it, I don't know if everybody's ready for this or not, but it's it's happening. So. <laughs> here you go. Yes. My goodness, Peter, thank God. It worked. It worked. It's working. It's, uh, <laughs> it's happening, man. It is happening. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you doing, my friend? I'm doing really well, man. I'm, I'm really having a good time with this. And uh, I think the next one of these that you host is going to be so much better. I'll host it. I'll host it in a heartbeat. <laughs> well, you'll know how it goes. Do it. You know, I, so thank you, first of all. For last night, we did a trial run, and that went so smooth. It, it just was really so did. smooth. It was so smooth. It was so smooth and so easy. And, and it was uh, smooth and easy. It's always smooth <laughs> and easy with you, Rob. <laughs> That's <and easy>. right. <laughs> There's no doubt about it. Uh, so I got a couple questions for you, man. I may or may not answer them. Okay. Well, you're gonna get them. You're gonna get them regardless. All right, send All right, them my way. Here. So which character did you play? I'm just kidding. Everybody knows that already. <laughs> Everybody already knows. I'm kidding. I'm having fun. All right. So uh, you and Jeff Weins, who was, I think it was called the, uh, the, the assistant director. So the performance capture assistant director. Is that correct? Is yeah, that right? he worked on some performance capture assistant directing. Yeah. Great guy, really funny, really fun to work with. Yeah. You know him really well because you had, uh, I guess you would call it, uh, what is it, uh, comedy shorts? That's uh, kind of a thing that you guys yeah, did? Yeah, Jeff and I um, have known each other since, uh, since college years, since freshman in college. And so we started making short films, a um, lot of silly stuff. Some of it you can see on, I think, we called ourselves Franco and Billy. So yeah. all these stupid things that we, that we made that I, you can find on YouTube and stuff. And, and then the most recent thing that we made with Roger and, uh, and Jim um, from the game and uh, who plays Pearson. And uh, uh, we, yeah, yeah, so we, uh, um, who cares really? <laughs> Life is over. <laughs> Life is over as we know it. Oh, I wanted to show you. I wanted to show you this. Um, so I made this potato. This is my potato version of Micah Bell. Look at that. Since I shaved my mustache and I have a potato and I have some clay, uh, I couldn't find the proper, um, I didn't have time to do the, the hair or the hat, but, um, and that's a classic potato Micah Bell for you. You know what? That, that is fantastic. One. And I, I wish, I just wish that I could have had that little guy to sit right up here. He could have been in that bar scene with me to kick this thing off. I'll send and it everybody to you. Would, huh? I'll send it to you. Well, if you send it now, you think it'll get here by the end of this podcast? I'll try. I know people. I know some people. Um, this so isn't we'll... a podcast. No, it's not. That's never going to work, man. Yeah, whatever. I, you know, 
Oh, ooh, what else do I have here? I have a wooden bunny. Huh. Um, Does yeah. your bunny have a name? Just wooden bunny. Oh, um, yeah. You know, uh, Rob, how are you feeling about how things are going right now? And also, what was the best experience you had with me uh, while making the game? Um, so things right now are, are wild, right? I mean, we all know that. We're all in the same, uh, same fight, though. So there is some comfort in that. Um, it's it's a trying time you're forever. You're deflecting, no you're deflecting the question, obviously. You don't want to. You don't want to talk about your your the greatest experience you had working on the game with me. What 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 would that be? What would be the most you know the 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 moment the pinnacle moment of you working on the game where you looked at me and thought Peter Blomquist is astounding. Can, <laughs> well, you know, I'm, I'm, you're right. I, I'm glad you asked me. I'm glad you cleared that up. That I was kind of walking away from that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but I would say, so my answer truly is um, I think that we all just, you know, stick together, keep our heads high, and uh, this too shall pass. <laughs> so, yeah, thanks for not answering that. Um, what? I oh. asked you your, the greatest moment of working with me. What was it? Yeah, so send, the, send that potato to me, and I'll put it right up here. <laughs> That's what I want you to do. If you okay, all this. right, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Okay, awesome, uh, man. Awesome. <laughs> it's I'm so glad cool to see you, man. It's great I to think... see you too, man. It was great chatting with you last night too, and trying to figure all this, uh, all this stuff out. Um, you know, we're <laughs> we've done so well with it. We're going no, to it's continue. great. It's fantastic. Um, it's 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 going well. We have now 454 people watching right now. Uh, 456 right now, based on what I'm I'm seeing on my screen, um, and I was just I was assuming when I was coming into this conversation that you would be nude, um, so I'm a little bit let down at the lack of nudity, but right. um, you know I think you're doing a great job. Well, thank you. I uh, I've changed my hat several times. Everyone saw my naked hair. Yeah, that was very naked. That was really naked hair. Um, anyway, I don't mean to take up uh, all your time here. I know you've got some other uh, guests lined up. Uh, hopefully, they will come on, and this will all work out smoothly, smooth and easy. <laughs> I really hope so, man. It's really, really great talking to you. All joking aside, I, I really would love to have that potato for that. I'll send it to you. I'll send it to you. Um, before, I, before I log off, you know, because I was missing the nudity, I'll just get a little bit, you know. <laughs> just go ahead and get naked and do it, man. Just do a little. And I'm not, I'm already not wearing pants. So I'm already, <laughs> now I'm 100% pure nudity. All right, man. I just want to get the, get those, to get the viewers going, you know. We got to get it going here. Well, I think Kylie just chimed in again, I noticed, and said, I can't tell. I don't know, like, basically, I don't know if you're lying to me right now or not. And you know what? You guys work out. You guys can talk about that later. What, <laughs> right now, what we need to do is yeah. uh, we got, I think we got more people coming on. I can't say for sure. I'm trying to look in here on the scroll to see if anybody's. Uh, All right, my friend. Uh, well, in order for that to happen, I will sign out, Rob. Um, and uh, thanks for having us on here. You're awesome. Um, Great talking with you all as usual, and I uh, uh, love you, man, and I'll, uh, we'll chat soon. Man, I, yeah, I love you too, man. It's really great to see you, and, and please do me a favor, because yeah. I can't pick up my phone and text anyone right now because I'm doing this live. Yeah. Please tell them, and I know that maybe they, maybe they can't hear me right now. That's the only thing that makes sense, because I'm trying to tell people that when you're sending these texts and I'm on them. No, I've been, I I'm, on, I'm on my computer as well, texting, uh, texting the gang. And we're trying to keep abreast of, of what's happening. Speaking of breast, check out these bad boys. Um, <laughs> all right. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. Over and out. Oh, man. All right, later. Dad gone. I love it. Love that, dude. All right. What do we got here? What do we got here? We have got 
Ladies and gentlemen, well, I'm starting to get the hang of this thing now. I'm really starting to get the hang of it. So let's see who we got next. Coming right up. Coming right at you. Yeah, this is going very smoothly, isn't it, Rob? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> My goodness, it's so good to see you, man. I'm very pleased to see you. Uh, you're 15 minutes late. You know how much I care about punctuality. This is going to plan? <laughs> yeah, it's great. It's really great. And and again, the uh, well, I'm not going to say it again because I'm just repeating myself. And no one's listening. I'm listening. You see, a lot of people are listening, man. I heard well, you okay. sang. You did a sketch or something at the beginning of this thing. Did I? You know, I didn't. I, I guess you call that what, you know, you call that whatever. I had big plans for that. And then All I right. forgot one line. But I'm live, man. This is one What's thing it? about people who do theater that is so amazing to me. What's wow. That? You know, with the stuff we did, we enjoyed it and worked really hard on it. But if we messed up, then they can stop, start over. Live is a whole different ballgame, isn't it? That's true. That's true. Uh, yeah. So I guess n now I feel undue pressure not to screw this up. Thanks. Well, man. yeah. I mean, you've only got right now. I mean, it's what it is. Yeah. Okay. So uh, <laughs> speaking of theater, you've yeah. done a lot of theater. I have done a lot of theater. I have done a lot of theater. Uh, and I think it's a, it's, it's, a, it's a great place to, to learn. But, you know, the work we did on Red Dead was a lot like, you know, we, the volume was all sort of super bright white for the technology to work. But it was kind of like the reverse of a black box theater, which is where you train when you're in conservatory learning. Uh, how to how to back on stage. So it was a lot. This in a lot of ways it was a lot like working in the theater, working on Red Dead. Yeah, it was it was really a, a cool to not have a camera in your face or or I guess a camera somewhere that you had to play to. The the freedom that that gave you was really kind of cool. And I I know we've talked about it a lot. And you've shared yeah. this a lot already, but um, well, it was you know I think about when we did the first one. Because I knew what it was with the second one, but on the first one, when we did that scene, you know, the cliff scene, uh, spoiler alert, but the, the 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 sort of final scene that, yeah, I don't know how to avoid a spoiler on this one. But the thing was, was, you know, we acted that out in one take, and I thought about it as, uh, uh, as you would do in a play. So you're sort of, you're setting what your eye lines are for all these different things. And I know I'm on the edge of a cliff and I know, you know, there's all these things that you account for. And it was so amazing when the game finally came out and to see it and to sort of see this stuff that when you're doing theater, it's only in your imagination, but then to, to, to uh, see it interpreted through the imaginations of all the amazing artists and the, the animators and the, all this stuff. And like, it's a real thing. Yes. But it did it did make me think and it actually helped when I got to Red Dead too, because when I finally saw that scene we're talking about, I I realized it was cold out and I didn't know that when we were playing it. Right. Um right. I was like, Oh, I imagined we were in the desert somewhere because it was a western, but it was we were in snowy mountains. Yeah. It was a lo a long time ago, man. <laughs> yeah, I don't even want to know how many years ago that was. I, you know how about eleven. How lucky have we been? That, so you and I and Steve, we've been able to work with this amazing company for over a decade. Yeah. That's, that's, we're so fortunate. Um, all right. So I love you, man. It's good to see you. I'm so <laughs> glad that you came by. I'm so happy um, I got to be here, man. And I, you know, and I'm really happy to be able to do this in support of the game hers. Cause I think it's a, 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 a great, um, program, and I'm enjoying the content that they're creating. I listened to that wonderful interview you did with Kylie earlier. Um, so I'm just, I'm really happy to be a part of this. Uh, thanks for including me in it. Oh, absolutely, man. And uh, I, I really hope that this is more and more of these are done because I really want for everyone that we've worked with to get an opportunity to participate if they want to. I hope that they do, and I hope that it happens. Um, but I'm, I'm really glad that you're here, and uh, <laughs> thank you, man. Well, keep up the good work. Uh, I'll see if I can't figure out some way to, to catch the uh, the sketch and see which line you blew. <laughs>
Oh, but well, more than one. Once you blow one, then you gotta try and keep going. It's like a domino effect. It just oh happens. yeah, you, well, you know my day job is teaching. I'm familiar with that phenomenon. That that happens uh, all the time. And if you want, man, Skype coaching. Let me know. Well, if I'm doing another one of these, I promise you that will happen. Yeah, you probably should have thought of that in the first place, man. Uh, <laughs> Well, give my thought. love, give my love to Taylor and the boys, and it's so great to see you. And you still got Dutch? Is that how's he doing? No, unfortunately. Oh no, no! no. I don't, I don't want to hear no. about it. I'll talk about it later. No, it's been, it's been about a year. He had, he had cancer. We had to put him down. The dog, oh. a boxer dog named Dutch, and I, and I He's... wanted to tell you that, but I don't know how to tell you. And I know that it's, I'm, oh. I'm, you know, it's my dog. I loved him, but. I thought it might be just as painful for you as it was for me, and I didn't want to tell you. <laughs> well, it's 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 much better finding out about it right now. Thanks, man. It's great. You know, it's not like I have enough trouble. <laughs> and don't touch your faces, man. Everybody wash their hands. Don't touch your faces. My hands are clean. My place is, but be cautious. Be safe. Thanks, yeah. uh, Rob, for having me. I'm going to sign off. But uh, happy trails, everybody. Right. It's a lot of fun being here. Really great to see you, man. Thank you. Bye, brother. My man, Ben Davis, Dutch, Vanderlyn. All right, so, uh, and we go again. Here we go, here we go. We've got, oh, man. I don't know if anybody is ready for this, but it's happening right now, I think. I don't even know. I don't know if it's happening. I hope it is. I think it is. I'm going to watch this back, and I'm going to say, yeah, don't ever do the same things that you did the first time because it's terrible, hard, hard for people to watch. And I'm sorry. I'm doing my best. Uh, here we go here. We have got somebody. Yeah. That's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted. I might be sharing you something right now that I'm not meaning to share you, so I'm sorry if I did. Um, I'm scrolling backwards down through all these comments, trying to find. There's a lot of them, and I really, really am happy to see that you guys are enjoying this so much. I think you are, unless you're all writing really mean things right now. I can't read them all. <laughs> I can't imagine you are. You're all such really cool people. And so uh, one, one other thing I would like to do um, right now while I have time. I'm in the chicken coop, and a lot of people know that the chicken coop is the place where I have dedicated all, it's like the Red Dead Redemption shrine that I've made, right? I've changed it from a chicken coop to a game room, and it had all my really cool stuff from Rockstar, and it had all of the art that was given to me by friends that I met at the conventions that I've been to. And I really, really appreciate it. And um, I've taken it down because this room is not climate controlled. And I did not want to risk ruining any of that stuff. One of a kind, really, really cool pieces of art that were shared with me. So if you are one of the people that had your artwork up here and you don't see it now, that's why. But it's safe. And uh, I will find a place to put it. And once I do, it'll go right back up and I'll start... Uh, keeping on from that area so everybody else can see it too. I'm looking for somebody. And I thought I had somebody there for a second, and uh, I don't. I'm still seeing lots of texts from my friends who just will not take me off the list. It's all good. Don't don't worry about it. Maybe you can't. Maybe nobody knows what you know how to do that. Maybe it's not possible. Don't ask me because I am uh, clearly – not the tech guy. Uh, let's see here. Let's see what happens if I do that. I think I might have just picked one out of the crowd and gone after it. Hi. It worked. What's Good. happening? Alex? <laughs> hey. Hi. How are you? I'm uh, better now looking at your face, I'll tell you that. Oh no, why why can't I hear you now? Oh boy. Oh now now uh now you're muted.
Oh, there we go. All right, we're back. We're back and we're live and I can hear you. I'm so sorry. Can you not hear me? I can hear you, but it's really hard for me to hear you because every time I get a text, I can't hear anything and I keep getting texts. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm on that same I'm on that same thing. It keeps popping up. I mean, literally one every three seconds. It's so cool. It's it's just because we love you and we're all very excited to talk to you. That's that's what's happening. Well, you know what? <laughs> I appreciate that and I thank you, but let's talk here. Let's talk right okay. here instead of I, Well, I wore my shirt in honor of right now. Love it. Love it. Love it. Um, what a cool platform. I'd never heard about this until until you asked us to be a part of it. And I dig it. Supporting female, those non-binary, those who align, those who, it's fucking rad. Awesome. Yeah, it's r really, really cool. And I think, you know, it's, so it's not, I've been trying to think of the right way to say what I want to say, because I am not any of those. And um, so who am I to talk for any of these people, right? It's not my place to say anything, but I really think it's cool. And I, like I said earlier, I think that if this makes people better, better is better. And we all benefit from that. I agree. I think uh, being an ally is, is incredibly important. And Absolutely. Just, you know, just believing and promoting and uh, hopefully expanding some people's minds a little bit when, uh, yeah. you know, yeah, love is love, people are people. Um, how are you doing? You look good. Well, thank you. Is it, I look what? I said you look sun-kissed. Oh, thank you. Yes. I, did, I, <laughs> got, I was outside today. I mentioned earlier that I was outside for about 20 minutes and I got a sun. I heard you got burned. <laughs> I can't. My skin is so <laughs> fair. It's terrible. And you know what? You've got fair skin, too. Do you get tan or do you burn? I do. I do. I uh, I get like real golden. I've never gotten like dark tan, but um, must right. be my my heritage. I get surprisingly, surprisingly uh, golden tan when I'm in the sun. Well, good. Yeah. Look for you. I'm sure. Yeah. What so have you been doing this. to pass the time? How? Do, what? Say that again. What have you been doing to? Uh, oh, and and buy rights too. Yes, somebody just said that caught my eye. Um, all the, all the rights for all the people. Uh, but what have you been doing to pass the time in your, in your quarantine and staying home? Well, um, I've got a shed that is actually, it's, well, you can't see, so I'm not going to point as if you could see, but there's a man in a chicken coop right now. Right. And so right next to it is a, it's kind of a tiny little pole barn. It's bigger than a shed. It's smaller than a barn. Right. Okay. Uh, but I'm, I'm going to put a door. In it. There's a door in it now, but I'm going to add a door in a different place so I can get Ooh. things, kids' toys. My wife's a babysitter, right? So we have all these tricycles and bikes and cool toys for kids to play on in the backyard. Um, <laughs> but you can't get to them from the backyard. You have to go all the way. So I'm going to put a door in there, and uh, I'm going to really take my time on it. So I love that. Yeah. I just imagine you with like, and your wife and like a million little rugrats running around and your boys and one yeah, day well, you have to have a reunion at your house. Yeah. They, right <laughs> now, we're not, ha there are no, but nobody's coming over here right now. So the babysitting is done. She's not a daycare. She just babysits for people that oh. she knows, but the people that she knows that she normally babysits for are home right now. So, right. um, as they should be, uh, as we all should be. Yeah, we need to we need to uh, all do our best, really. Mm -hmm. What have you been doing? Well, I was actually fortunate enough to um, figure out a way to record an entire audiobook from my closet. So that's right. pretty awesome. Yeah, I, my best friend, I did her first uh, novel, and then she wrote a memoir, and I actually voiced her memoir from the privacy of my closet. It's great. So really, like today has been my first actual free day. I'm very, very grateful for the work. But you know, I I got a big garden, and I'm always out in the garden and cooking yeah. a lot, cooking a ton, and trying to organize my life. You know. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's uh, the circumstances are not what anybody would ever wish for, but we do have a chance to uh, kind of organize ourselves, right? And. Um, 
almost like a reset, if you will. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's the positive of it. I mean, the, the environment's definitely benefiting. Yeah, nobody's, yeah, no, no question about that. Right, they can see actual fish uh, in the Venice canals and it's clean for the first time. And there are pictures um, from a satellite and they can see China, whereas before it was just a black cloud for the first time in decades. So that, wow. that was cool. That's kind of nice. Yeah, silver linings. That's what we need to keep focusing on. This, cool. this is uh, a <laughs> tough situation, but it will pass and uh, we'll be all right. Stay cool and, and stay positive like you're doing, you know. I, ho I hope that you can continue to do that. Yeah, I will. Yeah, trying. You know, a lot, of, a lot of this, a lot of, like, FaceTime hangouts and Zoom dance classes. It's been, it's been great. That's so <laughs> cool. Yeah. So good. Well, good. Yeah, I mean, you know, keep, just people got to keep, keep it on. That's what's going on, I guess, right? And exercise like you're doing. I'm, what a great way to spend your time and you need it, right? We all need to. So yeah. good for you. Yeah. Oh man, this is this is great. I miss you. I miss I miss our gang. I do too. And I I'd love you know, I was really looking forward to going to uh East Coast Comic Con because there were gonna be so many of us there and then they canceled it, which was the right thing to do, but we would have all been able to hang out and, and enjoy it. We'll do it again and we'll do it soon and it'll be fun. And, uh, Absolutely. And, and to everybody out there who is watching and listening, if you want to see us at a Comic-Con in the future when it's allowed again, you um, the best thing to do is actually contact the Comic-Con. And that way they know to invite us because, you know, there's a lot of people that they're dealing with and maybe some of them, uh, the promoters and whatnot, have played our game, but some of them haven't. So if, uh, if you guys want to see us there, then, then request for sure. Yeah. That's the way it happens, I think. Mm -hmm. So cool. Well, Alex, I'm so, so happy that you stopped by to say Absolutely. hello. Part of this. Anything for you, Rob. <laughs> well, thank you. Take care of yourself. Um, keep staying healthy and enjoying your time. All right? Yeah, you too. And, you know, outlaws for life always. That's right. I love <laughs> it. Love okay. it. Love it. All right. Well, take care and... We'll, we'll try to do this again sometime soon. All right? Absolutely. All right. Bye. Bye. Oh, my goodness. It's just really cool to catch up with people. And, and you have to understand that we all spent so much time with each other for four years or something crazy like that, the majority of us. And so we really, really do enjoy catching up and getting to hang out with each other again. It's uh, it's really cool, and I'm glad that you could be here and, and be part of it with us, because we're all having a good time. We hope that you are, too. Uh, let's see here. What's going to happen next? What have we got coming at you now? I think that the person that I just tried to connect to has been having trouble connecting here tonight for some reason. But... Um, Let's try it again. Send it to me again. Here we go. I'm going live. I'm going live with. Who's it going to be? Anyone? Well, there she is. Yeah, boy. <laughs> What's up, oh Joe? My God. Can we talk about your opening for a second? Like, <laughs> no, I don't want to. But no, okay, we need go to ahead. like have yeah. a moment to appreciate that you like had like this full on, like genius expression. Like, what the hell? I love how you're like I'm working in construction, and then I'm just also a full blown genius artist. Oh, quit it! Thank you, Joe. What's going on? I mean, you're weird as hell. Don't get me wrong, but like. <laughs> <laughs> There's no question about that. I, I am weird as hell, and I and I will uh, embrace that. I guess it makes what it all so much better. Like honestly. Well, thank you. I, you know, the one thing that I know is that uh, what is it? Don't don't ever take yourself too seriously because nobody else does. Whatever. Yeah. 
I think that uh, that's safe. It's safe to live by that. Maybe you don't have to like kind of make yourself look like a wild man all the time either. Yeah. Yeah, or like almost get arrested. Don't like actually do it. Just get <laughs> real close. <laughs> At least you know you're living life to the fullest. Yeah. Um, get everything out of it you can. I have so many questions for you. Well, have them. Say them. I um, well, first I want to know, I want to know if the eggs on in your chicken coop, like if what they taste like, like do they taste incredible or are they, are they like different because they don't taste like store-bought? I just, I need to know this because I want chicken someday in my life. Um, I, that's a good question. I, I don't know that they tasted any better. I don't know that they tasted any better, but I do know that when you have chickens and you feed them, uh -huh. you know what they're being fed. Mm -hmm. um, you know how clean the area they live in is being kept. Yeah. So those are some of the benefits. When it comes to actually like eating an egg, if you eat a scrambled egg, it's a scrambled egg. You don't know. Okay. Yeah. But you know what I'm saying? So um, and it, it depends, of course, on how you cook it, all, whatever, all that stuff. But I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I think people that want to know and have that sense of uh, assurance or whatever, my, my chickens, my eggs are healthy. I know because I take care of them. I think go for it. But you have oh, to yeah. take care of them. Yeah, absolutely. I've only, I'm only asking that because I really do want chicken someday and someday uh and i will also be working in construction i'm sure like <laughs> laying concrete <laughs> so i'll be calling you for tips because who knows what's gonna happen after this whole crazy time but i have heard like that some people were like oh these taste different or something and i was just curious um and i love i just love your whole lifestyle i love seeing it it's so i mean maybe i Maybe I need a break from the city because every time I watch like your your uh, your posts and stuff, it's like it's like therapeutic almost. I'm like, oh, there's like <laughs> land and like wood and a tractor and like, <laughs> like yeah, grass well, and stuff. You know. I'll tell you what. So when I lived in L.A. and and thank you, I'm glad that you enjoyed looking at it, and I'm glad that it brings you comfort. But I want I want you to know that when I lived in L.A., I came back. Uh, to see more for, I think it was my cousin's high school graduation or something. And I remember walking in their yard, my aunt and uncle's yard, and talking to somebody. And we walked for like five minutes and we were talking about whatever. We were still in the same yard. And it wasn't like they, they didn't have like a huge yard, but it was like, man, if, I, if you walk five minutes in LA, you've passed hundreds of people's domiciles you know what yeah. i mean yeah and so uh i i know that when i realized that at that moment maybe it's kind of flipped the switch for me where i thought i'd really appreciate this space i, I do like the space i love that so much because it really it puts together such a logical concept of the, the construct of time with this very illogical like concept of what what peace is like in your mind and knowing that like having space is somehow, I mean, not everybody needs it, you know, but yeah, ironically, this whole time that we're going through right now has been like, you're talking about silver lining. I am embracing the hell out of that silver lining. Like I am, I'm loving it. <laughs> like I needed a second to breathe, you know? Yeah. So, <sighs> well, uh... I have, wait, my big question though. Sorry. Mm -hmm. I would, I really want to know cause I'm not trying to interrupt you. Um, what you were like in high school? I was cool as hell. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? I hope mean? somebody's screen recording this. That is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. I don't. All right. So, uh, in high school, I uh, I was really into sports, and I, you know, I I loved sports, and I wasn't. Um, the greatest athlete in the world, but I was competitive and could hold my own in a lot of ways, but that was my thing. Um, what do you mean? <laughs> I just think it's a cool question. Cause like, I, uh, I was like, a, I think I was just a total nerd and thought I was like getting by, but I don't, I don't really like, I look back and you know how like sometimes you just wake up and you just have